All right. Hello. Happy Saturday and welcome to another exciting edition of some exploitation. Uh, today is my favorite day of the year. Um, yesterday is Friday the 13th and we're finally past that. I had a a mountain bike crash many years ago, but that's why I lay low on Friday the 13th. So, we are doing lolly.pg, well, .pg in my uh, naming convention. And it's a, it's a fun one. It is a fun one. It's not too difficult, but I learned just a little bit. So that's that's good. A little bit about some WordPress exploitation. So just an overview of this. We're going to be letting uh, letting that run very quickly. Uh, this will be straight WordPress and then a kernel exploit on the host. So this box didn't take me very long from start to finish. I woke up today. Feeling, feeling pretty ready to go and just dove right into this. So looking forward to a nice, nice rest of the day, getting some sunlight, maybe cutting the grass. We're going to see that uh, the only thing that shows up on Nmap is port 80. And so then we're going to, we'd head straight into say a go buster for port 80. Why my phone just did that. Medium.txt is fine for this. Lolly.pg port 80 optional, but not a big deal. Uh, it finds WordPress. So we immediately start the WordPress scan. Lolly.pg enumeration users. Just kidding. Slash WordPress. And it does its thing. GoBuster and DeerBuster don't really tell us too much. Um, I did use the DeerBuster to give me a hint. Uh, finally a hint that didn't come from walkthrough. I was looking for some place to upload from because I wasn't finding it on the WordPress website. And uh, it, it helped me there. So we see that the WordPress scan gave us the Lolly uh, username. So immediately we want to brute force it. And again, I still haven't figured out how to not scan uh, the regular WordPress and just do the password attack. But that was pretty fast. I didn't even revert this box and it's going pretty fast. So I'm pretty happy with that. Lolly and Fernando. Now the one thing that I want to note, I don't feel like reverting and going back, etc. Actually, I don't need to revert and go back. There's lolly.else. Actually, it'll be in my cache. I remember that from last time. But it's going to want to redirect to lolly.lc. And so you just got to add that to your host file. So I have it up here. We just went lolly.lc slash WordPress slash WordPress admin slash login.php. Let me make sure that works. Lolly. I'll just do lolly.pg just for funsies. And then, yeah, WordPress login.php is fine. Lolly Fernando. Never save. Never surrender. And this lags just a little bit on login, but that's pretty normal. And there we go. There's our dashboard. Let me close that out. I spent a few minutes trying to look at this. I immediately went to plugins 
uh, but we can't upload or edit any. So that really cramped my style. But we start looking around. I tried, there's media, there's add new media. Uh, I could not upload a reverse shell using that. I could upload files, but every time I uploaded like a GIF um, using the GIF magic bits, uh, even when I had, uh, I changed the name from like my reverse shell name dot JPEG. I took off the JPEG using burp and it still appended the GIF to the file name and I, I couldn't upload it without those magic bits. So that was, that was a, a dead end. But we can look at add rotate, manage media, and it has banners. Now, let me just do this really fast. Um, I uploaded a reverse shell. Oh, not move. I'll just copy. Copy the zip to prs1.php.zip. Just because I want to demonstrate this a little bit. Upload a file. Now it says JPEG, all that. I haven't tried anything except for zips. Uh, but I imagine it might work. Not a big deal. Open, upload file. And you see, it doesn't list anything. So you might think it's not working. But trust me, it will. So we're going to go. Now it's not, of course, just banners. It's going to be something, something content, etc. Let's see if I have it in my history. Lolly. It's WordPress content banners prs.php. PHP or prs.php is of course my PHP reverse shell. There may be an admin that needs to be in there. We'll find out. Hey, it worked. So here we are with a web data user. And we need to figure out how to uh, either pivot to a user or just straight root it. So there, there were some fun things I tried. This wasn't super intense. Look, first off, the, the user flag is located just in var dub dub dub. There's the local dot text. I won't go in there for once. We look at ls home. There's a lolly user. ls home lolly. Oops. Let me. ls la home lolly. And spoiler alert: none of those contain anything interesting. I mean, there's only a couple of them there to read. There's nothing interesting in there. Other than that, the only other thing I'll show before we get to the rooting is CD var dub HTML WordPress. We always want to look at the WordPress config file. And I always want to learn how to type. I need to separate the dot and the slash a little more. So we have database user and password here. I tried, well, there's no SSH, so I couldn't do anything with that. Which reminds me, yeah, if we look back here, there's this. 
I opened, uh, I started the SSH service when I was root because I wanted an easy way to get back out of the box to find the user flag. Just because I didn't find it immediately, I went straight to root. But uh, if this weren't here, if I'd reverted it, this is the only thing we would see, Nginx on port 80. Uh, but this, this password does not help us uh, to get to Lolly's user. Um, I forget if I tried to SSH in using that password. I think I only tried Fernando. So that may in fact be Lolly's password. I, I never tried it. So uh, the next thing I tried was the Linux Privilege Escalation Assistant script. I went to temp, and then I tried uh, I tried to copy and paste the whole script, but that didn't quite work. So I used netcat. Um, in case you're unfamiliar with netcat file transfers, you go netcat local port one two three four out file. that and I can start that immediately over here go to my scripts directory netcat lolly oh there we go uh, w3 I forget what the w is but you need it <laughs> that may be embarrassing to say but I'm going to say it anyways linpeas dot shell. The, the in file is going to be the privilege escalation script. The out file, I'm renaming it just because I already have it on here. I just want to show you how it works. So we're going to the port it's listening on and then we go enter and then they'll both close at the same time once they're finished. It won't be, it won't take long. So ls linpeas1. So I ran it. I'll just run the one I already have here. I've already chmodded it. And we get that. And immediately, we're just going to go back up to that thing it highlighted. Boom. Kernel version 4.4.0-31. When we Google that, we see, let's see, this is the second result on Google. The first one gave me something I wasn't able to use. It did not compile. It was uh, number 40871. And I think it's even in here. Yeah. I'm going to remove that because I don't like it. But the second result is 45010, which is this guy. Um, I, there are two options. You can always either compile it on your local machine and transfer it over or try to compile it on the remote machine. I did not try to compile it on the remote machine because I compiled it locally, transferred it over, and it worked. And that's really it. I did the same netcat file transfer to bring it over. Let me get down here. And it's taking a little while. Um, so yeah, that's it. Let's just wait for that, uh, wait for that to finish up. While I'm up here, I'll SSH to Lolly. Yeah, I, there we go. That is just, I just want to be there. Uh, so then LS dot slash four five zero one zero dot Kali. I named it that because I just wanted to note that that was where it was compiled. And it actually finishes uh, silently. See, there I am. CD root LS. And just for a little additional fun, using this lolly user, we're going to go there, ls dot slash 45010 dot Kali. 
That's what it looks like, and that's how fast it finishes. So that's what it looks like as it's exploiting. So you can see that's what it's there for. It's doing its thing, and we're in. So uh, this was, like I said, a pretty good time. Uh, a good practice for a couple of these skills. Let's just look at man netcat to see what what W means. Wait. Oh, I guess we may or may not need to wait. But a wait is good. So hopefully this is a fun time for you as it was for me. Um, and I'll probably get another box or two done today. So much excitement. I hope you have a good day and a good weekend if you're still on that.